हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोड विद अभी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ क्रिएटिंग ऑर्डर विथ सिंपल प्रोडक्ट टुडे वी आर टेकिंग वन स्टेप डीपर ऑन हाउ टू प्लेस ऑर्डर विथ वेरिएबल प्रोडक्ट्स सो लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ कॉपी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट डिटेल एंड मेक इट एज प्रोडक्ट वेरिएशन डिटेल okay and the next thing we did is we created a function in which we are sending the product type and if it's variable then it will return true if it's simple it will return false so on the home page here on the card on action when we click we will is the product simple we will pass the type if it's true then it will navigate to variation detail page and if it's false it will navigate to the our de uh, product detail page so let me show it to you like this is the product detail which has a simple product and this one is the product which has the variable of products okay so let's go to the page de variable page detail so on the first thing we have load the back end like cart and get the items in cart and update it the this cart count okay on the next thing is the stack in this we have called the product detail page and from that we have created a new uh, drop down so once we add that this drop down we have to set the option values as the variations and option labels as the options so let me show it to you how we are getting the option variations and the option labels Uh, so we are calling the product detail one API. Just in this one, product detail right. So in that API, product detail. I am passing this product ID for you to show it to you guys. So here you will see. attribute name is size so we are selecting the size and options are 50 60 and 70 and variations are the ids of the product for which the values are set for which the values are set okay so from the bottom i have set like variations and the attribute options so in this one drop down the values are set the same way like product detail response json body predefined part and the variations and the option labels are the predefined path and options and in this text i have selected like please select space and then the option name option name is the attribute name okay so let's refresh so here we get please select size now based on this size we have implemented one more api call on selected we will call the product variations api where we will pass the product id and the variation id the variation id is the attribute drop down and the product id is from the product parameter so we will get the product variation result let me show it to you product variation here product id and variation ids are passed see so we will get the details like id same like the simple product here nothing else much different 
current ID have we have name we have okay and the ID of the product so based on this selection 344470 lay 3547 and we are seeing the price as 70 let's make it to quantity and add to cart 70 has been added to the cart see I hope you have remembered like uh, we when we click add to cart we will pass the product ID which has been loaded to get the product description but for variation it is different we have to pass the variation ID which we have selected from the drop down like we have to pass the 3547 and the number of quantity in add to cart let me show you the add to cart code now so back end add to cart add to cart here also i am checking if its item is in the cart then it will call the add to cart variation else it will update the item in the cart add to cart variation here i will call like id id is the product id which we are loading quantity the quantity we are getting the variation id which we have selected from the drop down where uh, this one and this is the value is the name of the product which we get the from the variation result and token as what, what we are passing just a moment I will show you the product variation API as well add to cart variation here we have to pass the ID quantity variation ID variation value in the token and URL is co cart version 2 cart add item okay I hope till here it's clear now like how the add to cart for variation is working so at last when we place the order everything is same nothing has been changed here we are just getting the values from the function like line items we will select the product id and the quantity and the value from the quantity let me just fill up the details and show it to the like for the order I'm just filling the dummy details for now okay so it's this it is working like this also I have noticed like many of people are watching my videos but not subscribing so I request you to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share it to your circle thank you and i'm also planning to start a new series on custom e-commerce with laravel and flutter from scratch so if you have any suggestions or any topics for new videos do let me know in the comments thank you